Hello and welcome to another Minecraft add-on showcase and tutorial with me, Foxy Notel. Today we're looking at a massive update to my camera mode add-on. It's been massively improved, overhauled, optimized and so much more. Now let's get into it. And we should probably start by downloading it. So head over to foxynotel.com, either click on add-ons or you can use the search function, scroll down and you will see camera mode here. Click on that, click on the camera mode download, click on the download link and download that zip file somewhere safe on your PC or mobile device or whatever you're downloading this on. Now, before we step away from the website, if you have already used my camera mode, as it used to be known, camera spectator mode, that has been discontinued. It's still available on the website, but this one is replacing it. It's completely different, but also very similar. So it's got its own new slot on the website. Once the download has finished, you can open up the zip file either by double clicking on it or if you're on a mobile device, you've probably got an extract feature, extract the files and inside there you will find the MC add-on file. Double click that or add that to your Minecraft installation. Minecraft should launch if it's not open already and it will be added to your behavior packs and resource packs folders. And there we go, successfully imported. If you're putting this onto a Realm or a server, then check out the link in the description below for how to install add-ons on Realms and servers. For me, though, I'm going to create a new world. You can have whatever world options you want. However, there are a couple of things we do need to do. So I've just stuck in a random world name and I'm going to go down to cheats. I need to enable cheats because we need to run a couple of functions to make this work. And I need to toggle Education Edition on. And of course, we need to actually add the behavior pack, which is now in my available packs. I'll click activate that. And if we go to resource packs, you should see that the resource pack has automatically been added in there as well. Click on create. And once you're in your world, nothing is going to be any different from normal. Now, bear in mind, this pack is designed for alt accounts or AFK accounts. It is not designed for main players. And if you use it as a main player, you may risk losing your items. In order to turn a camera account into a camera, all you need to do is run a function, which is tag at S or the player's name. So for instance, Foxy No Tail, add and then trusted. And when they have this trusted tag, they will automatically be given a couple of items. And you'll see in the chat that we've got some help telling you how to use those items. The old version of this pack required you to gather items in order for you to use these packs, whereas this one actually gives you the items. But if you have got items already in your hotbar or in your inventory, in these locations, they will be deleted when you enter trusted mode. So basically, when you first tag a player, make sure they don't have anything in their inventory. So we've got three items here. We've got TP, which will teleport you to the closest player if there's no other players online. Well, it'll make a noise, but it's not going to do anything. So you can click on it in your inventory like that, or you can punch with the item like that, and it will teleport you to a closest player. And just so you can see that working, I have added another account into the world, and if I click TP, I will TP to those. However, if they are a camera account, it's not going to TP you to them. It's only going to TP you to players that have not got the trusted tag. The other two options are the help button, which again, if you click that in your inventory, it will come up with the help for the trusted mode and the star. When you click that, it will change you into camera mode. And you can see I've gone invisible and there's a whole bunch of effects on the screen. You'll also see there is more help for the camera mode in here telling you what all of these buttons do. And you can see in the inventory, we've got a whole bunch more items. The first one is the help one, which again, just adds the help into the chat. We've got a night vision toggle, so we can toggle night vision on and off. And that means that the camera will always have night vision on if that's toggled. And it will also have conduit power too, if you want to do underwater time lapses. The camera mode, if we click that again, is going to take us into the next mode, which is path mode. But we're not going to do that just yet. And then we've got a few more. We've got a speed slider here to change the speed. And there are seven speed settings. The higher up this goes, the faster the camera will be. All you've got to do is click on it in your inventory like this to change it or punch with it in your hand like this to change it change it up as well. The next one we've got is the show points. In the previous version, you would punch with a spyglass in order to see the points that you've placed in the world for a short amount of time. Now they're going to be there permanently until you toggle that off. When you turn it off, the eye closes and everything will be invisible, but only your points, only the points that you've placed. If you've got more than one camera account in your world and they've placed points, when you toggle that, you'll still be able to see theirs because they'll still need to be able to see theirs. The next one is remove focus point. And in order to use that, we're going to need to place a focus point but you don't need to use the focus points at all because the camera mode is a very basic mode compared to the path mode the other buttons we've got is the play and pause button and we've got a movement button and the movement button is going to determine what the camera actually does so back in camera mode 
At the moment, we've got it on move left. I can fly because we've got a education edition enabled. And when I click play, I will start very slowly moving to the side. So this is on the slowest setting. You can barely even see the screen moving. However, if we increase our speed by pressing this button, you can see we get gradually faster and faster and faster until we're absolutely zooming across the screen. Now, the fastest speed is mainly for testing this rather than actually using in-game because if you try and time-lapse this going ridiculously fast, well, it's going to just look all blurred and weird. So we're going to put this back down to a reasonable speed. And now what we're going to do is click on the movement icon and we're going to change what direction we're moving, which is going to move us out of these blocks, thankfully. And there are lots of different movement options. We've got move forwards, we've got move backwards, up, down, up relative to the player's tilt, down relative to the player's tilt. That basically means the direction you're facing, it will be relative to that. So if you're facing right down like this, then up is technically forwards. And if you're looking right up like that, then back is technically backwards. We've also got move north, move south, move east, and move west. And we've also got rotate clockwise and rotate anti-clockwise. And when we click on those, you'll see the camera will just slowly rotate on the spot, which allows you to get a sort of panoramic style video. Now, stopping the movement for a second, the next bunch of movements we're going to go into all require the focus point. And that's where this comes in. So you can see it's got a little focus point icon on there. And the first one says circle focus point left. Now, if we try and play while we haven't got that on, it's going to say movement started, but then say no focus point found so it's not going to do anything it's going to pause you again so what we're going to do is we're going to pop a focus point in there again we can see that permanently until we toggle show points and then we can make it hidden then we can make it visible again and now i'm going to click play and you will see the camera is going to rotate around this focus point which is great if you want to just do a circular time lapse focusing on a build or something like that and again the speed is going to toggle how fast you go around this thing so you can go ridiculously slowly or you can go ridiculously quickly depending on what you need to do you can only have one focus point per player in camera mode so when you place another one the first one's going to disappear and if you don't want it anymore you can click the minus button and if you just happen to forget to take it away with you when you click on the camera mode to go into path mode it's also going to be deleted now the path mode is where this pack really comes into itself however i wouldn't recommend using it on realms and servers if there's more than one person online because although i've massively optimized it it's still running a whole bunch of commands per tick, which can slow down your world and cause lag for the other players. But let's not worry about that for now and look into how it works. So I'm going to go back into path mode and we've got the similar set of items that we had in camera mode, but now we've got a couple more as well. We've got place path points and remove path points. Again, the help button, all it does is brings up the help in the chat for the path mode. The night vision will toggle on and off and it will remember your settings depending on what you do. Even if you come out of this and go back to trusted mode, when you go back in, it's going to remember what you set for your night vision. So path mode is basically equivalent of what you would see with replay mod in the fact that you can create a path for your player to go around. So if we place a path point like this, we can have 25 per path. If you add more than 25, it will get to the 25th one and go back to the first one. So, you know, it's pointless adding any more than that. And what you can do is you can either create a path for your camera to go along. Now, bear in mind, if you have sharp angles or sharp up and downs, the, the movement's going to get a bit weird. So try and keep it relatively smooth between points. And when you're ready to start that path, you can just click the play icon. You will teleport back to the beginning. And again, we're just going to increase the speed so you can see this moving. And you can also see on the screen there are a couple of blue blocks. Now, they are what is generating this movement and trying to smooth it out and you'll see they don't always make it exactly to each of the path points that's just because of how teleportation on bedrock edition works but it's going to follow them pretty well the first one is the leader which is going from path point to path point the second one is following that one at a distance and the player is being teleported to the third one which is at the back which focuses on the middle one in order to keep your camera movement nice and smooth throughout the time lapse and this is why this particular mode is relatively intensive because all three of those entities as well as the player are being teleported every few milliseconds, which causes quite a lot of lag if a lot of people are doing it and particularly on servers and realms. Now this particular mode I've got set up, there's no focus point, so we're just following this path along and we'll get to the end and then it's going to go back to the beginning again. So you can use this as a linear path or you can use it as a circle. So let's stop that for a second. Let's get rid of the path points. And let's make a bunch more, but this time in a circle so we can see it being a looped path. Again, don't put them too close together. 
Don't make too many ups and downs or too steep ups and downs because it will go all kind of weird because of the way teleportation works on bedrock. And try and keep your corners nice and smooth so you don't have sharp edges. So now we've got a big old circle. I'm going to click on play again. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. And we're going to follow this circle around, as you can see, like this. Now, obviously, if we're going slower, it's going to be more smooth. But to test it like this, you can see it's nice and quick. Now, if you don't want to follow the path around like that and you actually want to focus on something in the middle of your path, you can put a focus point anywhere you want and the camera is always going to look towards that. So again, when we press start like this, we're going to focus on that point in the middle while going around the outside. Now, obviously, there's a lot of junk going on in your chat at the moment. While that's happening, you can either press F1 to get rid of all that and have a nice clean screen. Or if you don't want to see it at all, you can do game rule. Send command feedback false. And that will get rid of any feedback being sent by the functions that are running in order to make this path work. And you'll see eventually that will disappear from your chat and we're no longer getting all of that spammed in there. Again, we can change the speed to go as quick or slow as we want around this path. And it's relatively smooth because we've got a nice smooth circle. The slower we go, the more accurate the path will be because the blocks are being teleported more regularly between the points. The faster we go, there's less teleportation going on and therefore it's going to be slightly less accurate. Again, if we want to do this without seeing the points, we can just click on the eye and we can do all of these things while it's actually moving as well. So we can change the speed while it's moving. We can make everything visible or invisible while it's moving. And we can even delete the focus point while it's moving. But that's just going to break the time lapse because it's got nothing to focus on now. And if you do have everything invisible, when you start the path, you're still going to see those blocks. So just give that a quick toggle to get rid of those and everything is going to be completely invisible. And there you go. You've got a nice time lapse going round as a path like that. When you've finished, make sure to get rid of your path points by clicking remove path points. That will delete all of the ones that are in range of your player. And that basically means you're not leaving loads of floating entities around that are going to end up lagging your world. And it's not going to affect your path next time you start trying to make a path. Now, when you change modes, it will delete all of the paths anyway. So let's say you've got yourself a path set up like this and you go back into trusted mode the path's going to disappear and you're also going to fall out of the sky however don't worry because you've got resistance for two minutes when you go back into trusted mode so that you don't die when you fall out of the sky i've thought of everything guys now this pack does have scope for up to 30 different camera accounts although i wouldn't recommend having 30 different camera accounts all doing paths at the same time but you can probably get away with two or three so let's try it out chuck has now been tagged with the trusted tag so he's now a trusted player and I am going to go into path mode and I'm going to create a path around this tree. So I'm going to put my focus point here at the top and I'm going to create a path which is just basically a circle around that tree. And when I click play, I'm going to focus on that one in the middle as expected and start going round. Now Chuck is going to go into path mode. He's also going to place a focus point on top of that tree and he's going to create a path going round the inside of my path. And when Chuck clicks play, you'll see Chuck will start going around the tree as well without interfering with our path. So we've now got two time lapses going on in the same area, overlapping each other without interfering with each other. Now, I don't want to do my path anymore, so I'm going to click play. I'm going to remove my path, which is going to get rid of all my points. But you can see it hasn't affected Chuck, who is still going around his path completely separately, meaning he can carry on with his time lapse without being affected by the other players. Now, there's one other function of this pack that I haven't covered, which is, to be honest, not a very good one, but I thought I'd leave it in. But it does require Chuck to no longer be trusted. So we're going to do tag, Chuck Loader, remove trusted. He's going to have his items taken off him. He's just a normal survival player now. And I'm going to go into camera mode and I'm going to change my ch camera mode all the way to the end. And eventually it's going to look like that which is the follow closest player type of action. Now I'm going to fly up and I'm going to look over here. And when I click play, it's going to make me stare at Chuck. Now it's not doing a great deal, but when Chuck starts moving around, you can see that my player is going to follow where he goes, which looks all kind of janky and weird and not very nice. And when you do time lapses with it, it doesn't come out very well, but I thought I'd leave it in because it was with the old one. And I didn't want people telling me that I've, you know, left anything out so there we go now the last couple of things i want to say is that if you want anyone to not be trusted anymore you can take away all of their stuff by removing their trusted tag 
So when I remove my trusted tag, you'll see all of my items have gone. I've got no status effects anymore, which means I can't use any of those features. Now, there are a couple of things to bear in mind with this. Item frames, or particularly empty ones, will be a bit of a problem. Going back into trusted mode, you can see even when I'm in adventure mode, which I am in when I'm in the camera or the path mode, I can actually put my items into that, which would then change my mode because I'm not holding it anymore. And then I can't get them back out again, which is a bit rubbish because then I can grab hold of an item that I'm not supposed to have and I can move it around. However, if I put that on my hotbar, and go into camera mode, it's going to get deleted the next time I switch modes. There's nothing I can do about that because, well, effectively, that's just how adventure mode works in Bedrock Edition. So the next question, I guess, is, well, why didn't I use the new spectator mode features? And I'll show you why. In fact, for the sake of testing, I'm going to go into the latest Minecraft preview version, which is 1.19.10.20 at the time of recording this video. And using my version switcher, I can keep all of my add-ons and stuff by having the same profile. So here in the preview of 1.19.10.20, I've given myself the trusted tag. And when I go into camera or path mode and fly up and change my game mode to spectator mode, you'll see I have no hotbar at all anymore. Absolutely none. It's completely gone. If I press E to go into my inventory, I can't go in my inventory. I can't punch. I can't see if I'm even holding any items, which means, yeah, this add-on will not work with spectator mode in 1.19, which is why I chose to make it without spectator mode. So, you know, don't worry about spam in the comments with I should use spectator mode because it's not going to work which is why we use the adventure game mode and we have a lot of effects added to our player in order to simulate spectator mode one last thing to say is this pack does affect the player entity which means it will not work with things like one player sleeping or other add-ons that affect the player entity but don't worry because I have a website coming out soon that will allow you to combine all of these packs with all of my other packs that affect the player entity so you don't have to worry about conflicts or anything like that. So stay tuned, keep your eyes peeled, and if you want updates on that, make sure to join my Discord, which is where I put out all of my announcements. So there we go, that's it. Much simpler, much more optimized, much better than it used to be, and it will work on Minecraft 1.18 and 1.19 going forward as well. So check it out.